This is obviously sparking a lot of questions from both students, families and teachers as well. Like what about graduating seniors and what about teacher salaries? We're going to get into that, but according to this new report, the governor could sign an executive order, as you mentioned, as early as today. That would apply to both private and public schools K through 12, which would stop for this academic year and then pick back up in the fall. This is not an ideal situation. No one thinks it's an ideal situation. But the, the fact is that they're trying to uh, uh, salvage something out of out of uh, this pandemic and try to get a little education in before next September. The possibility of Michigan students not finishing out the school year has been in the backs of students, parents and teachers minds since this pandemic started and in person classes stopped earlier this month. The governor said in a recent press conference on the state's response to the virus that she'd take a look at the situation later this week. But now, according to Bridge Magazine reporter Ron French, speaking with several people involved in drafting an executive order, it's happening. The main thing to remember is that everyone's taking into consideration the health and safety of, of, of the kids first. Governor Whitmer is expected to sign an order in the coming days, officially ending K-12 school until next year due to COVID-19. According to French, teachers will still be paid for the school year. Current juniors will be allowed to take the SAT in the fall, paid for by the state. It's a test they would have taken this month. Seniors will graduate. As for other grade levels moving forward, that will be left up to individual districts. It will be up to the districts themselves about who passes and who does not, and who graduates and who does not. But the expectation is that districts, because of, of the circumstance that we all are in, that they're gonna be pretty generous about this. That would relieve a lot of pressure, I'm sure, about how people are thinking about this. Jen, what about state funding for schools? Will that be affected by this? Yeah, Olicia, keeping in mind that sources say the situation is very fluid and changes could be made, but based on that bridge report, state schools will continue to get that state funding through the end of the budget year. That would be June 30th. Now, we did reach out to the governor's office for a response and some clarification on this. We are hoping to hear back later this morning. Again, that executive order expected to be signed in the coming days, possibly as early as today. Reporting live this morning, Jen Schantz, 7 Action News.